Hey there! Thank you for watching this clip on finding a trig value giving another trig clue. So the best way to do this one is actually drawing a picture. Sine of x is given by definition. It's really opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, if you are drawing a right triangle here, if this is the angle, this is the opposite, this roof, this H hypotenuse look like a roof. So whatever is you are opposite to where you're sitting, if you're sitting here, what you're looking at is this wall. So opposite a wall over the roof. So let's use that. Take a look. Here's our theta. This is 1. Unit of 1. This is 3. Using Pythagorean theorem to calculate this side, which is adjacent, we have 9 squared minus 1 which is uh, 3 squared, which is 9 minus 1. So this is a radical of 8, 2 radical 2. Okay. Now, here's the problem with sine. Sine is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, because sine is really whatever is opposite. So there is another angle here, theta 2. It has exactly the same sine value. Since we are not given that x is in quadrant 1, we can't assume it's simply in quadrant 1, that we have to take care of theta 2 here as well. Now here is 1, okay, here's 3, however this one is negative radical 2 over 2. Okay, and this does make a difference because now uh, cosine of theta 1, or I'll take it x1, is equal to 2 radical 2 over 3. Okay. Now on this side, however, cosine of x2, or theta 2, is actually equal to minus 2 radical, radical 2 over 3. Okay, so without knowing which angle specifically it's given here, we do have to take care of both of the angles, quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. So cosine has two values, depending on which one of the angle actually give you the positive one-third. All right, hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me for more updates on this channel. Together, we can conquer math. Until then, have a confident day.